All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we're talking about the Brava crop of figs. And I'm gonna propose an idea to you guys that I, I know goes against conventional wisdom. It goes against what I had believed for many years, even myself, that now I believe to be true. And I wanna talk about that today. Now, the conventional wisdom is this. The Brava crop here is actually holding a Safrari Brava. It's August 1st here in the Philadelphia area. Surprisingly, this one actually is one of the latest to ripen. Really, really nice for having a late crop of Brabas that fills in the gap between the Brava crop and the start of the main crop. So this is a valuable variety, but the Brava crop is the, the conventional wisdom states that the Brava crop, if it is present on one of your fig trees, will delay the development of the main crop of figs on the same tree. And it also, the other part of that conventional wisdom which I also believed for many years, could reduce the overall harvest of your tree. And it logically makes sense because if you have a lot of Brabas, like this tree here behind me is Moro de Caneva, it produced 30 Brabas this year, roughly. And so if a tree has 30 Brabas on it, that's a lot of energy required at the beginning of the growing season that, that it needs to support those Brabas. So, Instead of having the tree's energy devoted towards new growth and the development of new leaves and new branches and lots of new growth to support the main crop, a lot of that energy has to be devoted to the Bravas. And so 30 is a lot, especially for the size of this tree. I was amazed the age of this tree. The fact that I even got that many Bravas was just, uh, it was an incredible year for Bravas. But, the first part of that conventional wisdom is false because right here I have the main crop ripening on this Moro de Caneva tree at an earlier date than this tree has ever ripened the main crop before. And in fact, it's ripening its main crop right alongside the other earliest to ripen varieties in existence in my yard. So if you look at some of the other trees we have planted in the ground, we have Ron de Bordeaux, Teramo, Little Ruby, Floria, all of these are exceptionally early to ripen varieties. Here's a Rondé Bordeaux, the first of the year. Actually, here's another one right there. We've got some Floria and Teramo on the front, and here's an absolutely loaded Little Ruby. There are main crop figs ripening all over this tree, which by the way, it also produced a few Brabas. Not many, but so this basically proves, I don't think you could argue against it, that the Brava crop does not indeed delay the production of the main crop, at least in terms of the ripening date. Now I certainly could get behind, it might reduce the overall harvest in that because we had 30 Bravas on this tree, that's quite a bit that I would have a hard time believing that the tree, if we didn't have those 30 Bravas, the tree should produce and make up for 30 main crop figs and maybe more. Is that possible? Is that true? Does that make sense? I don't know. And I don't think we'll ever really know the answer to that question, um, at least with 100% certainty. Uh, and the reason for that is because I don't think we could ever design an experiment that would be reproducible and accurate uh, to give us, give us accurate results. So there is a little piece of conventional wisdom that I don't think was, was uh, that I thought for a long time was true. I've talked about it many times on this channel and now I don't believe it to be true at all. Now, I'll give you one situation. I think if you had them in a container and the tree wasn't very big or established, the pot size is rather small, maybe less than 10 gallons, then maybe that is true. And, um, you know, I think it really does depend on how much energy these trees actually have to be able to support the Brava crop, excessive energy uh, to actually support the new growth, the new leaves and the development of the main crop. So I think it's all about energy. I don't think it's necessarily, um, maybe necessarily one container versus another container or a container tree 
versus a fig tree that's planted in the ground. I think it's really just about energy and the tree that has the most energy, like this Moro de Caneva and the in-ground trees clearly have, more so over potted figs. Uh, they're able to, of course, go against this conventional wisdom, and I think it's just not true. The other thing that I've always said, I just realized this, is that if a variety produces Breva, I always thought it would ripen two weeks later. The main crop would ripen two weeks later than if it had not. And if you didn't get any Brabas on the tree, the main crop would ripen two weeks earlier. So that's pretty incredible that both of those statements, I think, are false. They've always been false. And this tree, to me, really proves it. So another, another thing in favor of Brabas and having a tree that produces them. If you want to learn more about Brabas, go to my blog, figboss.com. I'll put a link in the description to an article that talks about the varieties that produce them. We've talked so much about them this year. What an incredible year. I've learned so much. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button. We even got some trees for sale if you're interested on the blog. We'll talk to you guys for the next in the next one. Take care.